This is the first topic of the Chapter 7, Electricity. Electricity, is a physical phenomenon, associated with stationary, and moving electric charges. Stationary charges, are the charges, that generated on non-conductive material. And, remain no moving. The moving electric charges, only occur on conductive material. And, this moving charges, will form an electric current. Before we proceed to the detail of electricity, let's first discuss about the energy. In physics, energy, is the quantitative property, that must be transferred to an object. In order to perform work on, or to heat the object. Another set is, energy is the capability, to do work. Every living thing, needs energy, to carry out activities. Such as, plants need light energy from sun, to carry out photosynthesis. Non-living thing, needs energy to carry out work, such as, a car needs fuel energy to move. Energy, is the quantitative property, that cannot be created, or, it cannot be destroyed. But, it can change from one form, to another. This statement, is the law of conservation of energy. They're the three keys properties of energy, for you to remember. The first is, energy cannot be created. The second is, energy cannot be destroyed. The third is, energy can change from one form, to another. This example, describes the law of conservation of energy. Plants absorb light energy, to perform photosynthesis. Through the photosynthesis, the light energy, converted into chemical energy. And, store the chemical energy as starch. After the starch consumed by human, the chemical energy, will convert into kinetic energy, to move his body. Now, let's see the various forms of energy. Energy can exist in various form. The following, are the examples of energy, that existed in different form. And, based on the law of conservation of energy. These energy can change from one form to another. The first example here is, kinetic energy. Kinetic energy, only existed on the moving object. The kinetic energy on the car, is converted from the chemical energy, that's stored in petrol. Those object remain in idle, consists of no kinetic energy. The second form of energy is, electrical energy. Electrical energy, is existed on the flowing electrical charges when, voltage supply is provided. The situation on the image is, the chemical energy that's stored in the battery, converted into electrical energy, that force the charge, to flow through the light bulb. And, at the end, the electrical energy, is converted into light energy, in the light bulb. Heat energy. Heat energy, is existed on the hot object. At this case, the chemical energy being released from the wood, and converted into heat energy. About the potential energy. Potential energy, is existed, and store on an object, due to its position. There are two common potential energy. The first is, gravitational potential energy. The gravitational potential energy, is the energy, origin from Earth gravity. An object has the gravitational potential energy. It is due to its hay position, from the Earth's surface. The higher the object from the Earth's surface, the object possess more potential energy. When the object being released from that position, the gravitation potential energy reduces with its height, from the Earth's surface. The loss of the potential energy from the object, is converted into kinetic energy. At the moment, just before the object reach the surface of the Earth, the gravitational potential energy of the object, become zero. And, the object reach the maximum speed. At that position, the 100% gravitational potential energy, is converted to kinetic energy. When the object reach the surface of the Earth, the velocity of the object, change from max, to zero, in a very short time. 
kinetic energy of the object becomes zero, and fully converted to sound energy, and heat energy. The energy conversion is from potential energy, to kinetic energy, and eventually the sound energy. Another type of potential energy is, elastic potential energy. Elastic potential energy is energy stored, as a result of applying a force, to deform an elastic object, from its original shape. The elastic object for example, the spring. When the spring is released, from the stretching, the spring will move back to its original shape of position. The spring will move back to its original shape of position. The energy conversion, involves the elastic potential energy, changed to kinetic energy. And then, kinetic energy, to sound energy, and heat energy. About the nuclear energy. Nuclear energy, is the energy, that existed, and stored in the nucleus of an atom. The nuclear energy of an atom, can be released for our usage through the following process. Nuclear fission and fusion process. About the nuclear fission process. At which, the nucleus of an atom, splits into two, or more smaller nuclei, as the fission products. And, energy released as heat. This nuclear fission principle being used, in the traditional nuclear power plant. At which, the, the heat released by the nuclear fission, is used to heat up the water, to be steam. And, the steam produce a kinetic energy, to move the generator turbine. And, eventually, electricity is generated. About the nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion, is a reaction, at which, two, or more atomic nuclei, are combined to form one. Or, more different atomic nuclei. The energy, that released from sun, is from the nuclear fusion of deuterium tritium, to form the helium. At which, deuterium, and tritium, is the isotope of hydrogen. About the sound energy. Sound energy, is energy produced by a vibrating object. It unable to travel, through vacuum. About the chemical energy. Chemical energy, is the energy stored in substances, that can undergo a chemical change. For example, food is the substance, that store the chemical energy. Food will undergo a chemical reaction in our body, and energy being absorbed by our body. About the light energy. Light energy, is the energy emitted from a lit, or shining object. In this topic, let's check the sources of energy, that used in our daily life. Energy, is derived from various sources. The energy here, is referring to the electrical energy, that we have using in our daily life. And, you must always remember that, the sources that mentioned here. It is not about creating the energy, but is about to convert the energy, from another form into electrical form. This is based on the law of conservation of energy. Why the energy, need to be converted into electrical energy, before deliver to consumer. Because, electrical energy, can be easily delivered to the consumer, through the power grid. And, it can easily be converted to any other form of energy, through the electrical appliance. For example, converted to light, and sound energy, through the television. Converted to light energy, through the light bulb. Converted to heat energy, through the electrical oven. And, converted to kinetic energy, through the electrical blender, and washing machine. The energy sources, can be categorized as, renewable, and non-renewable, energy sources. Renewable energy resources, which are naturally, replenished on a time. Such as, water, sunlight wind, rain, tides, and geothermal. Non-renewable energy resources, like coal, nuclear, oil, and natural gas, are available in limited supplies. The following are the examples of the renewable energy sources. Water, is the source to hydro energy resource. Wind, is the source to wind energy resource. Tides, is the source to tidal energy resource. 
internal heat of the earth, is the source to geothermal energy resource. Biomass, is waste material from plants, or animals, that is not used for food, or feed. Biomass, is the source to the biomass energy resource. The sun emits sunlight. It is the source to solar energy resource. These renewable energy sources, will be detailed in the coming slide. About the water, as the source of hydro energy. At which, a hydroelectric dam is built at the downstream of a river. Dam on a river, functions to store water in a reservoir. At which, the water is with high potential energy. Water released from the reservoir, will have high kinetic energy. This is about potential energy of water, converted to kinetic energy in water. And, when the fast flowing water, flow through the turbine. Kinetic energy of the water, transfers to the turbine, at which turbine will move fast. The moving turbine, drives the generator, that converts the kinetic energy, into electrical energy. About wind. Wind is the flow of the air. The air particles in the wind, have high kinetic energy. When wind flows through the blades of a rotor. Wind rotates the blades of a rotor. This is about the kinetic energy of air particles, transferring to the blade of the rotor. The rotor then drives a generator, that converts the kinetic energy into electrical energy. About tides. Tides, or waves, is the flow of seawater, which move upward, and downward. At which, the seawater particles, is with kinetic energy. Waves, then rotate the turbines. It is about the kinetic energy transfer from waves to turbines. The moving turbines, then drive a generator, that converts the kinetic energy into electricity. About the internal heat of the earth. Geothermal energy, is the heat from the interior of the earth. Geothermal energy, is used to heat water, and produces steam. This is about, to convert the heat energy, to kinetic energy in water particles. The steam can rotate the turbines. This is about the kinetic energy, transfer from water particle, to the turbines. The moving turbines, drive a generator, that converts the kinetic energy into electricity. About the biomass. Biomass, is organic material, that comes from plants, and animals. Biomass, contains stored energy from the sun. Plants absorb the sun's energy, in a process, called photosynthesis. When biomass is burned, water is heated, and produce steam. At which, chemical energy, converted into heat energy in first. And then, the heat energy is converted into kinetic energy in steam. Steam can rotate the turbines. At which, kinetic energy of steam, is transferred from steam into turbine. The turbine is then, drives a generator, that converts the kinetic energy into electricity. About the sun. Sun, is the source of light, that reaches the earth. Light, is carrying solar energy, and can be converted into electrical energy, using solar cells. The following, are the example of non-renewable energy sources. The first is, fossil fuel. The second is, radioactive substances. This is about the non-renewable energy sources, fossil fuel. Fossil fuels, are formed over millions of years, from the fossils. Or, remains of dead animals, and plants, that were buried under dirt, and rock. Heat from inside of the earth and pressure from dirt, and rock. Changes these fossils into oil, natural gas, and coal. Fossil fuel, is used to heat water, and produce steam. This is about the chemical energy of the fossil fuel, released into heat energy. When heat energy, have heated up the water into steam. This is about, convert the heat energy, into kinetic energy. Steam can rotate the turbines. This is about, to transfer the kinetic energy, from steam to turbine. The turbines, then drives a generator, that converts the kinetic energy, into electrical energy.
about the non-renewable energy source, radioactive substances. Radioactive substances, such as, uranium, are unstable substance. At which, their nuclear reactions, will release nuclear energy as heat energy. At which, nuclear energy, is converted into the heat energy. The generated heat, is used to heat up the water to be steam. At which, heat energy is converted into kinetic energy, in water particles. Steam, then drive the turbine. This is about the kinetic energy in the steam, converted to kinetic energy in turbine. Then, turbine drives the generator. Generator converts the kinetic energy, into electrical energy.